On this episode of Ask a Photographer, why is my photographer so expensive? All right, firstly, let's reframe that question. Value is the relationship between what you get versus what you spend. So what are you actually paying for? And is what you're paying for worth it to you? That is what this video is all about because photographers don't do things the same way. Every photographer runs a little bit differently and there are different tiers of photography levels. And if you wanna know, well, why can't I just give a nice camera to someone like Uncle Steve and have them come photograph my wedding or my family portraits, you totally could. Also, go check out youarenotaphotographer.com and you will see fine examples of what happens when you give a nice camera to someone who doesn't know how to do what we do. So let's talk about what we actually do and then you can decide if it's worth it. Hello, my name is Mike Lloyd. I'm a professional photographer in Silicon Valley, California. I've been shooting professionally for 12 years and I'm not cheap. I am proud of that. Now, I don't charge a ton of money because I'm arrogant or I wanna be an elitist one percenter or however people with poor relationships with money view the situation. Uh, I value what I do and I know that my clients value what I do and I price accordingly. I know how much my time is worth and we all decide that when we take a salary with another company, when we agree to work for someone for a specific wage, we are saying, yes, I am okay with my time being worth that much money for what I'm giving you. We all make that decision when we take a job. Photographers are no different. So if you think someone is being greedy, that is fine. Uh, I would consider your own relationship with money. And again, it's the value of what are you getting versus what are you spending. Okay, so point number one, what do you actually want out of the experience? This is really important to consider when you reach out to a photographer. I often get people who call me up, they're like, hey, just need a quick headshot for my LinkedIn profile because I got a new job. I'm like, totally cool. Uh, I got these times available. We can get you in and out in like 15 minutes. Uh, it's 400 bucks. And they're like, wait, $400 for 15 minutes? Are you crazy? You charge 1600 an hour? I'm like, no, I don't, I don't charge hourly. Like this is what it costs for you to get a headshot with me. And I'm really good at what I do and we'll be done in like 15 minutes. And you'll, you know, you might even have the edited photo before you get back home. And they're like, well, that's insane. Why would I pay that much for 15 minutes? I'm like, you're not paying for my time. If anything, you're paying because I can do it quicker. Like if you go into the dentist, do you want to spend half a day in that chair? Or would you rather choose a dentist who can get the same job done in a half an hour? I feel like all of us would rather be in the dentist chair for a half hour than six hours. It's no different in a photo shoot. Most people don't wanna be in front of a camera. So if I can get you an amazing photo in 15 minutes, to me, that's giving you like two hours of your day back. That seems pretty worth it right there. Also, you're gonna look good in your photo, which is pretty darn cool. And I shoot tethered to my laptop, which means you see the photo as we take them. And you pick out the favorite image right there, which is why I can edit it probably before you even get home. As opposed to me shooting 200 photos, emailing you a gallery, we go back and forth on which ones you like, and then I have to edit things and send them to you much, much slower turnaround. So yeah, uh, I charge 400 bucks for a headshot and I'll have you out of here in 15 minutes. So someone who's like, yeah, I value my time. I want to look good in a photo and I want to make this as easy as possible. Sign me up. Well worth it. It's no different with my boudoir sessions. My clients come to me because they want to change the way that they feel about themselves. They want to look in the mirror and not hate their body, not feel shame or guilt. They don't want to be embarrassed by their stretch marks, by, by anything. They want to build a better relationship with themselves. And this experience does that. That has tremendous value. The photos are a souvenir from the experience. And I know that because a lot of my client referrals come before my clients have even seen their photos. They leave the shoot, they've seen the back of the camera a couple of times. They've had such an amazing, empowering, uplifting experience. They want all their friends to experience that as well. So then they get the photos and they're freaking gorgeous. And that leads us into point number two. How are you actually receiving the photos? Some clients or some photographers will give you every image in a raw file in a Google Drive and they'll be like, you'll get 500 photos for this experience for only $500. And you're like, well, that's only a dollar a photo. That's a pretty good deal. But you're not a professional photo editor. And if you don't have software that can even open raw files, that doesn't help you at all. 
Plus, you have to actually take the time to sit down, call the images from 500 down to, I don't know, 30 or whatever, because odds are if they're shooting 500 in, in a shoot, you're probably not going to like all 500 of them. You're probably not going to like more than 50 of them. And then you got to figure out how to edit them. And then where are you going to go get them printed? What's the difference between going to Walgreens or Kinko's or Costco to order your canvas? Would this even look good on canvas? Is this calibrated for their printer? What size do I get? Are these high enough resolution? These are all things that photographer will deal with. So my wall art is all on metal because I believe it's the best way to represent my own work. And other photographers will choose canvas or different kinds of photo paper. Some will come framed, some don't. I don't even do photo paper prints. It's all on metal. My albums and my folios are sourced from Italy and from Portugal. They are beautiful ways to show off these images because we want to honor the experience with these beautiful products. That is what I offer. It's not the images, it's how they're displayed. Because sometimes people are like, wow, you charge that much for an album? I mean, I could get one printed online for like $30. I'm like, you could, but it's not this album and it's not these images and you didn't have that experience. So if you wanna go get a Snapfish book for 30 bucks, by all means, go for it. I'm not gonna tell you not to or that it's a bad thing because it serves a certain need, but you've had this amazing uplifting experience that changed the way you see yourself. To put those in a $30 Snapfish book is a disservice, honestly. That's like going to a fine dining restaurant, uh, like the French Laundry, where you had to wait six months to get a reservation in there, and you get your fancy dinner served on a paper plate with a plastic fork and knife. You're gonna look down and be like, what? the hell is this? That is no different from me giving you a thumb drive full of raw files as opposed to a finished, beautiful keepsake album. And number three, how easy did the photographer make it for you? I have a very thorough prep guide that answers literally anything you could possibly need to know before your session. How to pick out your outfits. When should you wash your hair? What do you wear day of? What if you want a spray tan? Chemical peel? What if you want to get your teeth whitened? What if you don't want to wear lingerie for your photo shoot? How long after the shoot does it take to get your photos? Can you bring a friend with you? All of these questions are answered in my prep guide. In between the consultation and that, plus the email reminders you get leading up to your session, zero guesswork. We take care of everything. You show up in pajamas, basically, and we take over from there. We do your hair and makeup, your lashes. I do all the editing. I show you how to do all the poses. Everything is handled. You bring a dozen outfits, we'll help you pick the best ones to shoot in. And I have outfits here in my studio you're welcome to also. You shouldn't have to do any of the work. It's already scary enough being vulnerable in front of a camera. I wanna make that the only obstacle that you have to overcome to have an amazing experience here. And even still, like between the welcome sign, the check-ins, everything that I can do to alleviate that anxiety, I'm going to do. And I'm constantly listening to feedback from my clients because I want to continuously make this the best experience possible and as little work for you. And as it ties back into point number two, I want to make it so easy for you to come in, have amazing photos and a beautiful way to display them. For me to give you unretouched images or even if they're retouched to have you print your own stuff, that disk drive or that thumb drive is going to go into a drawer and those photos are going to die somewhere maybe get posted on Facebook once and never be seen again. And then two years down the line, you're like, man, I really wish I would have got those printed, but that was so long ago, why even do it now? And I really don't want that to ever be an option. So I would rather provide a really simple way for you to come in, pick out your favorite images in a no pressure, stress-free environment. Here's all the options we have. Choose your favorite photos and I will take care of all the ordering and building for you. Not every photographer does it the same way, and that's totally cool. And that's why we started with point number one, what do you want out of the experience? Do you just wanna play in front of somebody's camera? Totally cool, go do it. Uh, do you want this life-changing luxury experience? That's cool, go do it. There's no right or wrong answer, but knowing what you want out of the experience is what's gonna help you decide if it is worth the money the photographer charges. Expensive isn't a thing. It is the value of what we want and what we get compared to what we have to give up for it. So for example, if I have a bucket of water and I tell you this is a $500 bucket of water and you're like, is it the fountain of youth? What about this water makes it $500? Like, 
It's just a bucket of tap water for $500. You're like, there's zero chance I would ever pay for that. However, if you were on fire and I had a bucket of water for 500 bucks, you would hand me $500 so fast in order to dump the bucket on yourself and put out the fire. So expensive is not a thing. It is a value exchange, or it is the ratio of what are you getting versus what does it cost you? And that bucket of water is a steal at 500 bucks if you are on fire, right? I know that's an extreme example, but hopefully you get the point. So check in with your photographer. What is the experience like? What do you get out of it? And what do you want out of it? That's the only way that you can decide if the value exchange is worth it. If you have any questions about it, post them in the comments down below. I would love to know your thoughts. And if you're curious about getting in front of my camera, I'd be happy to chat with you about doing a photo shoot. Now that you've heard a little bit more about what I do, you can find me at MikeLloydStudios.com. I've got some other killer videos on this channel too. If you don't wanna come out to California or fly me to Hawaii or France or wherever you'd like to do your shoot, because my team and I do travel, you can find a photographer near you. And I got some great videos on my channel about how to find a photographer and how to pick the perfect one for you. So you are amazing. See you inside. <laughs>